Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we are going to learn the quick sort algorithm. Now, this is a very nice algorithm which promises, you know, very solid results. Uh, you know, n log n results actually. Um, so uh, this is the framework which we're going to build on. This is uh, explained in the bubbles algorithm, which was done before this. It's nothing big. There's a few random numbers being sorted every single time you run the algorithm. Okay, very very big deal actually. So let us uh, just begin it. So the quicksort algorithm is basically a recursive algorithm which uh, uses pivots, uh, recursive pivots, um, in order to sort the elements. So what is a pivot in the quicksort? A pivot is something which you put in, like you select an ele element in the array. That is the pivot. All the you know numbers which are in the array will be uh, adjusted. That is, if the elements are less in the pivot, they should be adjusted to the left of it, and if they are bigger then they should be adjusted to the right of it and you do that recursively uh, until you get the answer and you will get that in the tutorial which we will be coming you know this is what the tutorial is all about anyway um, let us begin so in this the, the selection of the pivot that is the most important thing can be done in uh, a lot of ways um, you have a very you know high powered algorithm which actually select the pivot instead of you know sorting stuff that select pivots which would be most optimal right now we're not going to do all of that because it's too complicated in any way I, I don't have that much time anyway uh, what we're going to do is we are going to select the first element and make that as the pivot and we're going to sort the rest of it accordingly so let us just begin so the first thing we're going to do is uh, this is the beginning and the closing of the algorithm okay in here you can write a bubble sort or you can write an insertion sort or whatever but we're going to write a quick sort because that's what we're going to do we do quick sort, man. So we do quick sort helper. Why do you need me helper? I don't know. I just think it's pretty radical. Um, why did the quotes? <laughs> Sorry, this is okay. Uh, to sort array, uh, we're gonna pass an array. So what is to sort array? It is basically the name of our array. Okay, and uh, we're gonna pass in zero and uh, max minus one. So max is the number of elements which we, you know, the number of elements we have in the array so in order to make the function just go click blank down done um, I messed three times I messed up done three times anyway this is our function the quick sort helper this is going to be recursively executed in the whole you know whatever function in the program here is our integers uh, that is the array of integers this is our first element and this is the index for our last element. Missed them, didn't you? Anyway, let's go and begin the writing of the other. So, in the recursive uh, algorithms, you always have to have a base case. Now, what is a base case? Now, a base case is something which will help you to stop the algorithm once it reaches a stage in processing. So, basically, if um, your recursive algorithm is running forever and you need to stop it, after a particular time, your base case will be executed, and uh, not time as in a condition, um, and your base case will stop the recursion, and you can, you know, go to the normal execution of the program. Anyway, let's just begin that. So our base case in this case, that is so awesome to say. If um, first is less than last. Now I know that you must be thinking, hey, Quincy, this is so obvious. First is always going to be less than last, but no that's not the case first is sometimes you want to be greater than the last and that is when we know that we should stop because we're going to do some crazy stuff the program is going to do crazy stuff in recursion you'll know that when you actually experience recursion I actually did in my exams I just messed up the whole programs once uh, it was bad. anyway um, let us begin this uh, so what, what we what do we need we need a split point where we can split the array from the pivot so we go in split point is equal to partition and the partition is going to take in two sort array and that is going to take the first element and the last not element is it sorry that I said element it's index and then we're going to do the same thing this is the same recursive things that are going to happen over here right now and it's going to take the same things actually this same arguments or parameters but here this is the first thing but here we're going to do split point minus one that is split point minus one split point minus one 
and uh, again we're gonna do it in the two right because there are two parts of the array now control V this is the split point plus one and uh, this will be the last uh, sorry it's getting too complicated very quickly see I told you that uh, recursive algorithms get complicated very fast I mean, you don't need to think about it. <clears throat> so what what are we going to do over here? So now the partition function is going to return an integer, which is, which is going to be the split point, where we split the array into two. This split point is basically going to be our pivot. Okay, so this, I'm going to say it, it's going to be the pivot. It's going to be the pivot where it splits. Um, and the pivot is going to be the be actually sorted. Now, after this uh, one executes once, the pivot is sorted. Okay. I mean, we have to still make the function, but you know, after the execute once, the pivot will be sorted, then the next pivot will be sorted. Now, after the first pivot is sorted, two other pivots will be sorted. Then again, two other pivots will be sorted. And uh, similarly, uh, all the, the whole program will be, you know, done. It will be sorted, the whole array. So let us just make this and get on with our lives. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, what do we do over here? Now here we need the left mark and the right mark and the pivot. Okay, so we have int pivot. Let me just see how much time we have left. Uh, yeah, we are about six minutes, point five seconds. Okay, I'm bad with numbers. Anyway, I'm not really bad with numbers, but I just said that for some reason. So to sort array. Now, uh, in as I said, there are many different ways of selecting the pivots. We're just gonna select the first. We're gonna select the first element of the array as our pivot. That is the first. And int uh, left mark is equal to to sort array of. Oh, sorry, it's the left mark is a pointer. It's not the element. Sorry, that's my mistake. Um, first plus one, and the uh, int right mark equal to last um, and we have one more that is the boolean now the boolean is going to handle our base case done equal to true so the boolean is going to handle our base case it's going to be very handy uh, to calculate that so what did we do we have a pointer which points to the first uh, the second element of the array and we have a right mark which is a point of the last element and the pivot is the first element of the array now um, we're going to replace the first element with the pivot index later the pivot index is different right now in this actually whatever um, so how much time do we have for two minutes okay so let us just begin this so a uh, while done which means that while done is equal to equal to true, okay? We're not gonna write it because it's too lame and childish. Because if you write done equal to equal to true, well, you know, you're stating the obvious. Anyway, instead of insulting you, I should probably teach you better. Um, so uh, we have pivots that we're gonna check until now. Now we need to check which element is uh, less than the pivot in the left mark. You know, while using the left mark, so left mark is for less right mark is for greater because we're making a ascending order array sort okay so while okay let's forget that uh, we'll do this in the next um, you know part of the tutorial and uh, yeah that would be better so thank you for watching do come back subscribe like and follow me on those social medias and whatever not because you know I love this stuff and uh, I would be very happy if you enjoy it too and uh, yeah um, you know, I, I even do like graphical stuff, I design stuff too, and uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. And if you want to hire me, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not really into all that stuff, but still, a little recognition would be great. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles.